if you're unable to use your inhaler um, or if your asthma symptoms get worse. One of the things that you may need to use um, is a nebulizer. A lot of times the inhaler is much more convenient. The nebulizer will take a little bit longer, but what it does is it delivers the medication over um, 10 to 15 minutes. And if you're having really severe symptoms, you may not be able to, to concentrate to do the proper procedure for the inhaler. This allows you to get that medication if you're in really, really bad asthma attack. With this, there's two options that you can use. There's a mouthpiece or a mask, um, which we do for little kids or if somebody is older and can't hold the mouthpiece. Um, but for, for most people, the mouthpiece is going to be the best option because you're going to get the medicine down into your lungs instead of into your nose. The mask, if you do have to use a mask, make sure that you do still breathe through your nose uh, or in through your mouth uh, to get the medicine down into your lungs. Uh, and again, it's beneficial because if you're really, really tight when you take that inhaler, the first dose of medication is only going to get to those larger airways. And then if, if you wait a couple minutes in between, the next dose might not get deep enough. So taking the inhaler over 10, or the nebulizer over 10 minutes will let you get more of the medicine, really open you up, really make you start to feel better. So as far as how to use this, um, there's a, a few pieces of equipment that you're going to need. Um, one of the things you're going to need is a handheld nebulizer device. We're all going to have a medicine cup, the mouthpiece, or the option for a mask. So if you're you know, into camping or going out and do stuff where you might not have the option of plugging it in, the batteries are going to be there for you. But it's important to remember that if you have one of the devices, make sure you check the battery because the last thing you want to worry about when you're out and about is that your battery has died and now you can't get your medicine. So, so always make sure you double check that. Um, to use the nebulizer, it's very simple. Um, it's going to come uh, in pieces and you just basically assemble it all together. And then the liquid medications, sometimes it'll come with five of them in one pouch. Um, and then you can just keep those. And they're typically a pre-measured uh, medication that also has saline in it. If your doctor orders you a different medicine, it may come in a separate bottle, in which case you'd have to put the bottle medicine in and then add saline to it. These are just much more convenient, um, so it makes it nice and easy for you to use. So once you have all of your equipment ready, uh, the next step will be to uh, put your medication in and you just twist off nice and easy. You squirt it in there. Add your mouthpiece. Um, and then you're going to turn the device on. And when you turn it on, you're going to see a mist. So to take the treatment, what you do is make a nice tight seal on the mouthpiece and just nice, slow, easy breathing in and out. Um, every couple breaths, take it a little bit deeper breath and hold it for about three to five sec seconds. That lets that medicine really deposit down into your lungs so that it can really help you breathe and open you up. Um, if you start to feel dizzy or lightheaded while you're taking this, just slow your breathing down. Um, it's common for people while they're using this device to breathe a little too fast. And when that happens, um, you'll hyperventilate and it can make you dizzy. But like I said, real simple. You just slow down your breathing um, and then continue to breathe for the 10 to 15 minutes that it takes to take your treatment. When it's getting towards the end of the medicine, it'll actually start to make a sputtering sound. And in that case, you can just kind of tap the sides of it a little bit to get all that medicine down. Uh, once the mist has stopped appearing, that means that the medication is gone and your treatment is finished. So you would just turn your compressor off. Um, and then if there's any residual liquid medication, then you can just dump it out um, and then maintain uh, the equipment by just rinsing it and then just letting it air dry. So it's pretty simple. Really important to remember though with this that it has to be kept upright. If you lay down or lean back and tilt this, the medication is not going to hit that part where it needs to actually create a mist. So you always have to make sure that you keep it upright. Thank you.